All right, guys, so we're out here. First run, X Max Ultimate. Again, guys, this is gonna be a slower video. We're just gonna be running the truck around. I've got the jump set up. We'll take a couple of jumps. But for the most part, guys, I just wanna give this thing a nice run. You can see right now, 800 kV just crawling around. 30, 35 Mod 1 gearing. It's a little wet, so we're gonna definitely, guys, have a mucky truck when we're all said and done, but that's okay. Honestly, you know what's funny guys, I feel nervous and there's no reason to be nervous. I've had lots of trucks, lots of big trucks, lots of expensive trucks, but man, oh man, I don't know. Just something about running this today. So, definitely not a wheelie machine with the gearing I have right now. Kind of shocked at that. <laughs> yeah. Which is probably a good thing, guys, for temps. And I just realized I did not plug in my ESC fans. Or no, my ESC fans, my motor fans. So at some point, we'll bring it in. We'll check, see how things are going. Ooh, she's smooth, though. Really smooth. I haven't tried the brake yet. Probably a good idea. Oh man, guys, that thing looks so friggin' good. <laughs> yeah. The extra stance is definitely helping control this. It's not super wide like the Wide Max kit. I think it's 15 millimeters a side. <laughs> yeah, she's moving nice. Um, but just keeping it very controllable. All right, we are gonna take a couple small jumps. I'm gonna check my settings on the jump as well. Start off with the small one. Hey, <laughs> yeah. And again, guys, like I said, nothing crazy today. This is my baby. I'm gonna break her in nice. The Mod 1 gearing is a bit, I don't wanna say annoying, but it's definitely loud. Oh, come on. Well, oh, we already probably lost a connector. No, maybe we lost a motor wire. I'll have to check that out. So unfortunately guys, what it was, was, and I've had this problem before with these big connectors, they pull out pretty easy. Now I have tried to enlarge the bullets and I don't leave anything plugged into them or anything like that, obviously when they're just sitting there, but they just seem to contract or I don't know what the proper term would be, a lot. And even though at the time that I fatten up the bullets, these plug in really, really good within not a lot of time, they just seem to down. And this one here had pulled out enough that it was causing an issue with the ESC. Oh, we lost the pinion. All right, guys, after saying all that, <laughs> here was my issue. So this pinion, it's a GPM pinion. It only has one set screw. Hopefully you guys can see that. A lot of these big pinions, I'll have them either one on top, one on the side, or one on top and one on the bottom. And this one only had the one now. It's, it's for the shaft, you can see the flat there, but unfortunately guys, that bump just completely knocked this thing loose, uh, which is definitely guys kind of a frustrating thing because I don't really consider that to be anything crazy. And obviously guys, I had Loctite this and all that kind of fun stuff. So the first run of the X-Max Ultimate 
Uh, well, it didn't go the way I wanted it to, but either way, we're gonna get the truck home, we'll get it back on the bench, and yeah, if you can't tell, I got a little bit of disappointment in my voice. Alright, well if you'd watched last week's video of the Outcast, that's what happens before I actually get out running. Either way, guys, Traxxas X-Max Ultimate did not go well today between the pinion letting go and just the overall performance. Uh, for 3035 Mod 1.5 gearing, I thought that was going to be pretty aggressive. The truck is super smooth. It just doesn't seem to have those gobs of power. It doesn't seem to have the, the torque and the wheelie popping and all that kind of stuff. And for that gearing, I expected it to actually be a monster. I actually thought I would be having, you know, more temp issues and stuff like that. I thought I was going to never keep the front tires on the ground. So I've got some work to do with this truck. Overall, it drove nice. Adding the 50 millimeters aside with the... Um, not Vitavon, um, M2C uh, wheel wideners really helped it out. It made it a lot more stable for an X-Max. The wheels and tires looked great. Overall, guys, the truck was fun. It just didn't seem to have the power that I wanted. And again, for being an XLX2 800 kV with a 3035 gearing, I expected it to be a lot more aggressive. So I've got some work to do with that. But overall, guys, again, uh, for the first run, not exactly what I expected. So what can I say the next time we're out, guys? I don't know what I'm going to change. I may look into different gearing, see what else I can find for pinions and spurs and all that stuff. Or I may just go back to a more conventional gearing and just use the you know, my basic, my normal setups that I use on X-Max and stuff like that. And we'll see how that goes. But either way, guys, that's it. That's all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I am looking forward to getting out and giving this truck another one. Stay tuned because hopefully, guys, I will be out soon with this. I have rebuilt my Max Slash, fixed everything, changed out a few things. We even now have a different motor in it so and a different steering servo. There's a lot going on. The rear bulkhead I replaced, the rear bumper I replaced, the body mount I replaced. Um, I don't know, guys. There was a lot. But either way, that'll be coming, guys, in another video. But yeah, guys, as always, if you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and have a great day.